Battery maintenance is critical to success with an off-grid solar system. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to check and properly adjust the water levels in your batteries. Hi, welcome to the Rat Race Losers, where together you and I will learn to go off-grid. Today, I'm going to show you how to check and fill the water level in your batteries. Maintaining your batteries is absolutely critical. Without them, you're not going to have power. So pay close attention to the needs of your batteries or you'll find yourself in a pinch. Batteries as a normal car, part of their operation will consume water. It's just normal. So don't worry about the fact that you have to add water unless you're adding excessive amounts really frequently or something. Now before you begin, you're going to want to make sure that you have some safety gear. Um, you want to have some safety glasses to protect your eyes. You want to have some gloves if your skin is really sensitive. And have some baking soda on hand to neutralize any acids that might splash on you um, to prevent uh, burns on your skin. The next thing you're going to want to do before you really get started with the filling of the batteries is to make sure that the tops of your batteries are clean so that you don't get dust and dirt and other contaminants down inside them when you're filling them. Now with my batteries, I just sprayed them off with the hose to clean them off just to make sure any loose dirt was gone. If the dust in your area is really light and loose, you could just blow them off with some compressed air or something too. That would work. Now it's absolutely critical that you never ever put anything but either distilled or deionized water in your batteries. Putting anything else in them can seriously damage them and shorten their life. And batteries are expensive. You don't want to have to replace them that often. Every battery's manufacturer has a recommended fill level. So before you decide how full to make these batteries, make sure you check their website to see how full below the filler tube the water level should be. As a general rule of thumb, about an eighth of an inch below that plastic filler tube that you'll see inside is, is a good place to start. To start filling your batteries, you're going to want to get a battery filling tool to make your life easier. Before you start with this, when it's brand new or if it's dry or you haven't used it for a while, make sure you rinse it out with distilled or deionized water. Uh, you don't want to make the mistake of accidentally getting contaminants in your batteries because you can't get it out of there once it's in there. Pour a little bit in, swish it around, dump it out, and then fill it up with fresh distilled water. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up the caps on your batteries. Every battery manufacturer is a little bit different. Most of them have this little twist lock type design. Take the cap off. Now, look down inside the battery, inside each well. You'll see a plastic filler tube that descends down into the battery. That's where you want to check the water level. You want to make sure that the water level is about an eighth of an inch below the bottom of that. Looking in this cell, you can see that the water level is certainly lower than an eighth of an inch below the filler tube. So what you want to do here is to take the filler. Place it directly down into the cell. Make sure you get a good seal here on, on the top. There's actually a, a bit of a sealing surface. And then press down. You'll hear a gurgling sound as the battery fills up. When that gurgling stops, the battery is, the, well, not the whole battery, but that particular cell is full. Take the filler out and move on to the next cell. Press down, wait until the gurgling stops. You want to make sure that the level is good. Sometimes these tools won't fill them all the way up and you need to check them. Just make sure that, that the levels are right when you're done. Now some people will just pour the distilled water directly in, right, right from the from the jug and, and that works fine and in my case today that's what I'm going to have to do because 
I let my filler tool uh, be stored in a bad location and the pack rats chewed a ginormous hole in it. So I have to buy a new one and um, when I was preparing to shoot this video today I thought well I'll just go get my filler tool and show everybody. <laughs> so much for that. So we will fill up the batteries with just the jug. Make sure this is distilled water only. Now you might want to use a funnel if you're doing this so that you can avoid spilling over like this. Just make sure that when you dump the water in here you don't overfill them. You're going to want to do this with every cell in your battery bank. Just fill them all up to about an eighth of an inch below the level. One important thing to note is why you don't want to overfill them. When your batteries charge, they bubble. Hydrogen gas is formed in the charging process and it bubbles. It mixes up the electrolyte, but if your batteries are too full, they can overflow. And what that can lead to is a slow dilution of the electrolyte in your batteries because it'll overflow and you leak out acid, but then all you put back in is distilled water. So slowly it becomes more and more dilute and that will cause uh, an early death to your batteries. In fact, that's what's happening with my batteries. When I was first learning to go off-grid, I figured, well, heck, just fill them up, uh, you know, all the way up or nearly, and, you know, the more the merrier, that way I don't have to fill them as often. Well, I didn't realize that they would actually bubble over. And because of this, I'm going to wind up having to replace these batteries earlier than I normally would. So it's really important that you don't do this because I've made this mistake. This is going to cost me hundreds of dollars uh, to replace these batteries. And I'd much rather you learn from that mistake because that's really what this channel is about, is helping other people learn from my mistakes. Don't go out and do this and uh, find out that you regret it later. So once you have filled all your batteries back up and after you do each battery, put your cap back on and you're done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Helps other people know what we're doing here. Also, put some comments down below. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Let us know what you want to see on this channel because we're here to learn and to help you learn in the process. Also, if this is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. You'll get notified of new great videos just like this one as they come out. Also, you can find us on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and at our blog at blog.theratracelosers.com. And as always, thanks for watching.